Morning everyone, it's April. Uh, just loaded up the last of the, well, did I say the last? This loaded tomatoes to take it up to the warehouse storage. Uh, the lettuce is now producing again, as you can see, over the last month. Uh, the plants coming up nicely, they don't look too bad. Tomatoes, again, coming up nicely, not too bad at all. Um, things I've quieted down. I was hoping to get some paperwork through for the lake. Uh, I'm still waiting on that, although, fingers crossed, it could be coming in the next day or two. We've had a couple more chickens disappear. Unfortunately, I think the uh, coyotes are still getting in. Um, there's not much I can do, really, at the minute. I mean, I could get another little hutch for them, because they are getting quite a few. It's something I can look into doing. The sheeps are doing fine haven't actually checked on them in the last two days so I really should go down and have a little look uh, but in the meantime we're going to get these tomatoes up then we're going to do the lettuce and then I think we're going to introduce another animal um, more of an insect really than an animal here we go uh, I'm thinking about getting some bees produce some honey just to add to everything that we're doing um and is a good staple it all it's it's it requires no work on our behalf really uh, i'm not really a beekeeper but um it shouldn't be too difficult making sure that the bees are producing crops coming along nicely fields coming along nicely it is the last time that is going to be growing grass i'm not sure what we're going to plant in that this winter we are going to put something in there. Right, well, we're going to get these in and unload it into the warehouse. Get the lettuce, unload that into the warehouse. Check the chickens, check the sheep, and uh, get some bees. I'm not sure where I even get bees from. We'll get some. That's for certain. Right, so we're just. Uh, We've been in, we've been unloaded, we just had a speak to Darren, uh, he's the manager here at the moment, he's a new manager, <laughs> um, yeah he seems seems a lovely young lad, uh, he knows what he's doing, he knows who he's billing, he asked if my name was Dean, uh, like I said to him, no he's Matty G just down the farm down the road, um, I don't know who Dean is, or maybe he's got his wires crossed, could he mean Eddie? Who knows? Well, we'll get back, get the lettuce, and get that up there as well. Here we are, back at the farm. We're just going to back this in. Oh, oh, oh it was close and nearly took out the greenhouse there. That would have shattered like a trooper. Let's not break our greenhouse glass. Each piece of that glass is probably worth. I'd say about 50 quid to replace, if not more. Right, we'll get this loaded and get up to the warehouse. There we go, we've got them all loaded and in. Just going to take these up and. Uh, do you know, what? I'm going to shoot round just to check the chickens and the sheep um, and do a little loop of the farm. Before we dump these in the um, in the warehouse, yeah, the feeds are doing all right there. Yeah, they're doing, not doing too bad. Uh, around 108 chickens, I suppose. I might get a little flat pack. I might order off Amazon or something a little flat pack hutch, just to go sort of in this corner maybe, or even in this corner. Help out with the numbers that they've got. Could be or would be worth it, maybe. Get a few more of them inside. I think that's that's the big issue. But the ones that are here seem healthy. Although I may grab a couple. Uh, I was talking to Eddie about the other day about the lovely Sunday roast we had. Uh, it made me hungry. <laughs> it certainly made Eddie hungry. Um, and we thought maybe we would uh, have a nice big Sunday roast up at his. Uh, invite Keith and Sarah down. Uh, we'll see how that goes. 
one, two, three, four, five sheep. Sheepies are all fine. Feeds good. Water's good. Everything good. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Right. Well, we'll head up and dump this out and uh, get that one done. And then we've got to come down and have a look at where we're going to put some some bees. The bees for some honey, honey, money, bunny. Oh, there we go, lettuce is all in. Uh, we now got more tomatoes and lettuce, which is quite the opposite from last year. Right, <clears throat> that's us done. Um, right, bees. I am going to pop up to the animal place while we've got the trailer on board and see what we can do about bees. As I am new to the game of bees. That's the word for it. Alright. The last time I was here it was so noisy they couldn't even hear me knocking. Uh, so this is where I normally see uh, the gentleman I spoke to last time. He's normally out here having a puff of fresh air. A Star Wars death stick, if you will. <laughs> well, that was a nice, interesting chat. Um, right, well, it's going to cost us a little bit of money. Uh, uh, but basically, we can't pick the bees up from here. Because they have to approve of the standards the bees are kept in. It's something to do with... They're not necessarily an endangered species, but because of the falling number of bees in the world and the importance that bees are to the environment now, they have to check that the bees are being kept in a suitable environment. Uh, he suggested some uh, some hives and, and whatnot to store them in to keep them, uh, and we came to an agreement on something. So I've got to mark out an area where we're going to want it, and then the next... Oh, day uh, let's say the next day maybe 20 within the next 24 hours it'll all be installed and in place uh, and that'll that'll create free let's say free generate some free cash flow for the farm because we haven't got to do anything bees feed themselves in essence um all we got to do is initial outlay they are a bit of pricey but so yeah we're gonna have some bees on the farm just gotta mark out where we're gonna want them not 100% certain yet, so I'm gonna have a little wander and have a see. Well, um, we have been in this corner in between the sheds. Um, we have completely leveled it out, cleared it out. We've laid some nice turf, planted a few flowery weeds. It looks all right to me, um, this area. We're going to have some bees in here. I may spend some time, uh, maybe a few pounds, a few dollars, um, just pretty, prettying it up in a nice little corner here for the hives to go some flowers and shrubs and whatnot. So they've got some, they've got some pollinating they can do here. And then overall they will fly off and pollinate all sorts else. And having it this close in the corner, I'm hoping that it's close enough that um, when we do say a canola field in here um, they would pollinate it or even across here if we do something like canola in here they'll pollinate that a nice flowery crop that will uh, increase us uh, give us a little extra yield um, but it yeah I, th I think this will work um, it's just enough room it's, it's not something that we're using it's a bit of a wasteland so yeah, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna leave that here, I've got to give that a clean at some point, I'm going to leave it out for now. I'm going to have a nice afternoon off, I'm going to soak in a bath because I got a bit dirty doing that, a bit filthy. Uh, and then hopefully in a couple of days time you'll see us finished, we'll get that sorted, get some bees in. And um, yeah, I mean we've got a good deal on the bees, we're getting a very large 
hive, um, beehive, very large beehive. Normally about 18 grand, but it's used. So we're getting it a little cheaper, um, plus the bees, which is great. Uh, we're not actually getting a full load of bees, uh, in essence. What we're getting is a queen and a few drones. Uh, and apparently within literally days of being put out there, the hive will be almost buzzing and full. So, I mean, I don't know how it all works, but if we get free honey from it. I've also got to purchase a suit. Um, a hive suit for when we're smoking them out and collecting the honey out. So that should be interesting. Uh, let's just close that. I don't need to go in the bedroom. So yeah, we'll see you in a few days. Um, let's go get a frozen pizza on. <coughs> ah, good morning, everyone. We're on the 3rd of April. Job has been done. It's as you can see, I spent nearly what, 20 odd grand, about 24, 25 grand doing all this. Uh, bees cost me 10 grand. Um, let me just give you a, a little tour. Um, we're about one third of the bee capacity full. Um, we started off with, um, I'm trying to think now, I think it was these, it might have now actually, so it was dark green and red, wasn't it? So it was these two drawers up top here, these two little hive pieces. And we are now. Uh, well, they're not all in this one section, but for argument's sake, we are in, we have this section full. I mean, they're they're in those two. I think, as you can see, they're coming out of all sorts there. But, um, yeah, we're about a third full, and that's just in what basically 24 hours. Uh, we've got the garden sorted. Uh, just scraped up. I use a little digger. I scraped up some of the uh, gravel we have lying around. Evenly spread it out a bit. As you can see, it's a bit dusty here. Uh, it's just a mixture of dirt and gravel. Give it a bit of compact for walking on. Uh, we've got some big flower pots. We managed to get these. These are off of Eddie. These are off of Eddie. So, um, yeah, we've got them for nothing. Uh, we made this chair, this bench. Out of, obviously, as you can see, tree. <laughs> just cut a small tree down and processed it. It's not treated. Uh, we varnished it, but it's not treated, so... It may rot in time. Uh, we'll probably get it treated at some point, I guess. Uh, we've got some more flowers put put in. Uh, but they were fairly cheap. Uh, we managed to we managed to get some from Keith. Um, yeah, it didn't take long to plant them. Now the trees. We've got this little bugger, or this little beggar. We've got that just from over there, literally. Um, this one, however. This one here was a gift. It was a gift from Eddie. Uh, I'm not sure where he got it from. Uh, I've not seen these around here, but they're nice little trees, so yeah. Uh, and then these hedgerows. Um, we wanted a bigger, slightly bigger, thicker ones, but they, they only had a limited stock. And I won't go down to Elm Creek, it's a couple of hours drive. I won't go down to Elm Creek to, to get pick up any more. So yeah, we've got these put in. They cost a, a pretty penny. All in all, um, this is their little garden. It's quite nice. It's a nice, peaceful place just to come away. And who would have thought it's right in this corner? Lovely. Uh, and we've also put some gravel down here. And here's where we're putting the jars in. So anything we, we don't need, anything that comes out that's bad, chuck it straight in the bins. But uh, um, no, in the lockup here, I've got a load of jars that we purchased. Uh, we've got enough for quite some time uh, and then these little wooden crates uh, They're about four dollars a piece. So we bought a load of those as well, and they stack in nicely uh, They're in this little cupboard here Or is it the other way around I forget? But yeah, once these are all full we'll uh, we'll be taking these down and storing them in a the warehouse I'm assuming um, And then selling them when we need some cash But yeah free money now from now on now ain't gonna cost us a penny and um, it's tucked away out of sight in the corner so it works a treat for us really really does farms coming along nicely uh, we've got to check the greenhouses don't think there's too much to worry about at the minute no we'll just get these is it just one lot and one lot we'll just move these along to the end Tuck them right in on that corner. 
Do the same with these. We'll probably stack them as well. Just get them tucked right over the end. Do you know what? That's going to be a bit of a pain. That's heavy. Just trying to wiggle that in a bit. Just want to push. There we go. A well, nice, quick, easy, short day. Um, one other real piece of business that I'm sure you all would like to know. We have a deal in place for the lake. It has been confirmed. I um, I do still have to sign the paperwork, but it is coming. Um, which reminds me, I haven't checked the mail. Um, it is coming. It has been sent. It was sent about three days ago. So... Um, I mean, we are, we, we do, we do, we don't get postal around here every day. Sometimes it's even sent to the store, but Keith and Sarah would ring me when that happens. Nope, we're all empty, no post. So yeah, it, it will be here, and it will be signed and done. Uh, the deal pretty much is we do all the work. Whatever it is we find, um, if it is treasure... Well, there's lots of terms and conditions. Basically, if it's treasure, if it's actual treasure and there's nothing that needs doing, we're getting 25%. That's the deal. If it's um, something in there that needs any sort of work doing to it, if there's loads of equipment and stuff, um, basically we get a bigger cut. I think it's about 60%. If it's what Eddie's now believing it is, which is, a, a, is possibly a mine... Um, like a coal mine, lime mine, stone mine, gold mine, whatever. Um, we get a 40% cut, they get a 60% cut. If it's a mine, the mining equipment will be ours. Any equipment that's inside is ours. But it's also our responsibility to completely gutter it. Because EPA's got involved, that's the Environmental Protection Agency, and we have to refill it once it's done with water. Um, there are some more details, um, but, you know, we'll, we'll go through them as time goes on. Um, I believe he wants to put some holiday homes down there. But, again, uh, that's something that um, is further down the line that we may not even have to be involved in. So, until next time, this has been a short one by Meiji. <laughs> Lots of developments. I love the new beehive. But until next time, peace out.